Hello, so this question is count hills and valleys in a ray. So yeah, you can definitely read this and um, uh, adjacent index i and j are part of the same hill or valley if nums i equal to nums j. There's a trick and then return the numbers of hills and valleys and nums. So let's look at the example. So two, two to four, two to four, four to one, one to one, one to six, six to five. So as you can see that like you have what? One hill, two hill, one valley. All right, that's not a point because uh, what you need to do is what you want to compare three point, three coordinate, every single iteration. So imagine this is X, this is S minus one, X plus one. And then you want to make sure this value X is greater than the adjacent uh, value. And then that will be it, right? That will become this hill. How about this? This is X, X plus one. This is X minus one. And then you're supposed to become this valid. Suppose. Uh, but let me just keep moving. So imagine this is x, this is x minus 1, this is x plus 1. So again, this should be counted as valid. But if you count this, if you count this as valid, and you also count this as valid, uh, it doesn't work, right? So which means we're going to what? Modify the graph. So what I need to do is I want to get rid of this. So when I know my i, imagine this is i, is equal to i plus 1, because this is 1, right? I'm going to extend my height previously, which is x, I mean, which is i minus 1, be the same. And then I'm not going to touch the original one, which is 1 to 1. But I'm going to just from, from what? So imagine, so this, this height was 1, right? I update to four. So just only this update, I can count this, what? Uh, the valid right here easily. And you don't fo you don't care about the hill because initially it was like this, right? Initially, initially it was like this. And you already count this as hill. You don't need to worry about how you Modify the graph. So let's start coding. Okay. So int result equal to zero. You want to return result. For so int i equal to one i plus one less than nums or lens i plus plus. And if nums at i is greater than nums at i plus one, and the nums at i is greater than nums at i minus 1, you increment the count. So you're going to be, I mean, you're going to do the same exactly this stuff, but it's going to be less than. So count is, so one's for hill, the other one's for valid. And again, if the nums at i is equal to nums at i plus 1, you want to reset the i equal to nums at i minus 1. So this is a trick. It should be doable. Okay, so that will be it. All right, so if you don't understand, pause the video, draw on a paper, and then you will definitely see what's going on. So time and space, space is constant, time is all of them. And I'll see you later, bye.